How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you Slingbox on the Kindle Fire HD. Slingbox is a really awesome app um, that goes together with a, a device, a device that is called a Slingbox. See right here, Slingbox. And it's a device that you hook up to your cable and it will allow you to watch cable TV from your Kindle Fire HD or from any device. It works on Kindle, it works on um, cell phones, it works on tablets, it even works on your computer. You could be anywhere in the world, you could be watching your home cable through a Slingbox. So I kind of want to show you how it looks on the Kindle Fire HD. Um, the app is $14.99 and if you go to the App Store, go to Apps, go to Store, and you type in Slingbox. Just so you can see, there's only one option here. Slingbox, it is $14.99, and uh, it's a one-time fee. And the cool thing is, the, the box, is, to use the service is free. You buy the box, you buy the app, and you're done. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch it real quick, and you, so you guys can see what it looks like, see what the interface is like. Kind of give you a basic run-through. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. My camera's having a little trouble. There we go. All right, so when you first launch Slingbox, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see Connect, Guide, and Settings, okay? And the guide is basically you can actually go through, and let's, let's take a look at that first. It'll uh, go through to kind of help you see what channels are available and what shows are on. The guide kind of didn't work that well on the Kindle, so I don't really use it in here, but there's another way to pull it up once you connect to the service. If we go to our settings here, you have a, a couple of different options. Um, most of this stuff you kind of want to leave it alone. There's a couple of gestures I'm going to show you, but you can turn them off uh, in the in the settings here. But uh, basically, if you wanted to log out, you would do it from here, just tapping log out. We're going to use the back arrow to go back, and we're going to go to connect and let's um, let's watch something on the scene box so we can kind of see how it works. I'm sure you guys are wondering, man, can how well does this work? So there it is. We're actually watching 60 Minutes right now with the president. Um, now, if I go ahead and tap uh, remote here, to tap the screen, tap remote, you can actually type in the number of a channel you want to jump to. So I'm going to jump to channel, um, let's go channel 13. Press enter. And that actually acts as your remote by just typing in that number and... Here it is. Now we're watching How I Met Your Mother. So right now it's broadcasting in, in SD standard quality. If you tap the screen, it will tell you right here. Now if you tap this button, tap quality, you can actually have it switch to high definition. Now, um, if you can do high def, go ahead and do it. Sometimes the connection lags more with HD. But actually, if you notice, the picture is better and the sound was actually better, but just by switching to the high quality, the HD setting. So, um, when you can do HD, do it. Sometimes it will lag depending on how good your internet connection is. Alright, let's go ahead and change the channel here because we don't want to show any commercials. Let's go to channel 11. And, um, I've, I've actually tested the Slingbox on my Kindle, I've tested it on the iPad Mini, I've also tested it on uh, my Samsung Galaxy S3, and it actually ran the best on the Kindle, to be honest. It lagged the least amount of time. I don't know why, I can't tell you why, but um, I'll just say that, hey, it, it worked really good on the Kindle. So, why, again, I cannot tell you. Let me go over some of the menu options here. If we just tap the screen, um, we can bring up our guide. And for some reason, the guide doesn't seem to work too well. Um, so, you may not be able to take advantage of that. And that's probably the only downside, at least for the Kindle. All the other devices, the guide did work well. And where you would need the guide is obviously to, if you don't have the channels memorized, then you'd have to go through that to see what channel is what and what's on what channel. So, that could be a setback, but it's not that big of a deal. Tap the screen here. We can zoom out to kind of get a, bit, a bigger picture that fills the screen. But it does, you do lose a little bit of the picture. So keep in mind, if you zoom in, you won't get all the picture. You can change the source. Right now we have it configured um, using component cables. For some reason, when you set it up, 
it works better with component cables, which is the red, blue, green, red, white. It didn't work as well with HDMI. We kept getting some type of weird. It wasn't an error, but it just kept saying it's better to use components. So go figure. What well, what well, the way we set it up, we actually ran com um, ran HDMI from sling box to the TV, and we ran component from the sling box to uh, the cable box itself. So. Um, I'm gonna have a video later on that we'll talk about how to set one up so you'll kind of understand more of the, the terminology when we go to that video. All right, and then let's see if we swipe up here, no options here. And we can actually, if you wanna disconnect it, you can go ahead and press disconnect. I normally just will tap the screen, you know, find this little icon right here and swipe, and then go home and that will basically close out the sling box. So, but when you launch it back, it will automatically connect. So that's why I don't really disconnect it because I want to be able to jump back in when I want to watch it again. So, um, this is it, guys. This is the Sling Box on the Kindle Fire HD. It works good. Um, again, I actually like the fact that when you tap remote, a real remote doesn't come up. Now, you have an option. You could actually switch. Uh, this is the other view, which is uh, a, another remote view where you can kind of page up and page down um, you kind of have some extra options here we have let's see we have the, the 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 play buttons so this is this app has been specifically customized for the Kindle whereas on other uh, devices uh, the remote will pop up on the left side and it'll be the remote for your cable so th this doesn't do that it actually has its own set of like controls so just to show you again if we hit play it'll show you like the pause play you can rewind especially if you have a dvr you can take advantage of this there is the miscellaneous so this is all your other normal um buttons that you would have on your remote if we go to program guide let's see if this is different yeah okay so that's how you actually launch the program guide you'd have to go with miscellaneous and then press program guide and from there You'll be able to see, you know, what's coming on, you know, what shows are next. And then if we tap the screen, go to remote. And then if we go to, I think it's here, you can actually page down. And then see, it actually lets you go down the, the line and see, you know, what else is on the menu. So, you know, it's it's a little bit slower, but obviously, if you're like me and you have your channels memorized, and then you would really use this because mainly what you'd be doing is you would know what number you want to jump to and you would just jump right to it, okay? So, that's how you work that out. Again, it's especially customized for the Kindle, so um, there's a couple of things that it doesn't have or it just has them, but it looks different, okay? But it works great, and if you notice, it has not glitched at all since we've done this. So just showing that, hey, it, it really does run well on the Kindle. And um, it's a great app to have. Again, you can watch TV from anywhere as long as you have an internet connection and you have a scene box hooked up at your residence or you can even hook it up at a friend's house. I have one friend who has his hooked up in Korea on his home TV and he actually watches it in the States. So, I mean, that's a really awesome way he's learned to kind of work it in his favor because he likes to watch Korean TV. So... Anyway, guys, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to Tech Videos. This sling box is available at all Best Buy stores. Okay? So you can literally get one at a Best Buy. Again, I'll be posting a video soon that's going to break down the differences. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it better. But um, this is the box right here. This is the high end one. This one's $299. And there's a lower end version that is uh, $179. Okay, so I'll, I'll have that video up soon that will break down the differences between the, the different models. But uh, it's a great device. It's a great investment. And literally, it's a one-time feed to be able to watch your home TV from anywhere. Maybe you're a Laker fan. You want to watch the Lakers when you're at work or you're at a friend's house. This is the way to do it. All right. Once again, guys, I, I said it, but I'm going to say it again. Like the video if you find it helpful. Subscribe to Tech Videos. And keep watching, all right? Have a good one.